Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. Thanks for taking the time to support the channel. I hope you're having a magical day. I'm Hello Good Game, and today we'll be discussing a new Magic the Gathering Arena standard ranked deck guide. It's Naya Tokens. Discussing in depth the strategies and synergies held within, demonstrating this within our ranked mythic gameplay footage against both the best decks and players in game, wrapping up with our final thoughts and deck review. If you want to support, leave a like. Thank you so much. It truly helps. You can also subscribe to the channel for future content and hit me up with any thoughts in the comments below as we break down the deck and showcase it. Cheers, kick back, relax, enjoy. Let's go. Here we are with our Naya tokens. Naya, hey, Naya, hey. <laughs> yeah, so we are building around Pinalar, Council of Revival. For two mana, it's a two, three. Thopters you control have haste. Whenever you play a land from exile or cast a spell from exile, create a 1-1 one, one Thopter. This token will also have flying, which is really, really cool. And then we'll be casting everything from exile to trigger that. Most notably, the Virtue of Loyalty, which will be first cast as the Ardenvale Fealty for two, creating a 2-2 two, two Knight with Vigilance at instant speed. And then obviously casting it from exile or five, as the loyalty, and at the beginning of the end set, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control and untap them. That is going to make the Thopters juicy. Oh my gosh. Furthermore, we're incorporating Pollen Shield Hair into the build for two mana as a 2-2, two, two, giving creature tokens you control plus one, plus one. Yeah, that's going to make the Thopters, you know, that much more formidable. But we also have Hair Raising for one. Target creature you control gains Vigilance and gains plus X plus X until the end of turn, where X is the number of creatures you control. We're going wide with creatures. You know, it's not going to be uncommon that this gives plus 5, maybe even all the way up to plus 10 on a creature. Probably a Flying Thopter that's not going to be blocked. Keep in mind, we also have the Might that can give unblockable to a creature as well for confirmed damage output. So we love the hair within the deck. Um, you know, we're going to use Wedding Announcement here as well. Very high synergy for three. An enchantment at the beginning of your end step. Put a counter on the Wedding Announcement and, and uh, create a 1-1 one, one human. Unless you've attacked with two creatures, in which case you will draw a card. Once you've accumulated three counters, flip it to the festivities and your creatures will get plus one, plus one. Again, very, very nice with the deck as a whole because we're going quite wide. We are feeding Pinalar with things like the questing druid a one one and whenever you cast a spell that's white or red put a plus one counter on the druid and uh, furthermore we have seek the beast for two at instant speed to exile the top two cards of your library until the end of your next end step you may play those cards this is really nice because it's instant speed uh, as well as having the creature whereas the resolve is sorcery speed resolve and impulse are the same card for two mana at sorcery exiling the top two until the end of your next turn uh, you may play those cards. So make sure that you're casting the Druid. Um, main phase, if you have lots of mana to still push those spells out or wait until your opponent's end step so you can retain those spells while untapping your mana, right? And then, you know, the rest of the deck is really quite simple. Four, Torch the Towers. One mana, instant speed with bargain. Two damage to creature or planeswalker if it was bargained, which entails sacrificing an artifact, enchantment, or token. You're uh, going to deal three damage and scry one instead if you do the bargain, which is nice. And then evil for two mana instant speeds, destroying either enchantments or creature with toughness four or greater, right? So three or less, the tower four or greater, the evil, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. The might can protect our Nalar and open up the attack lane through the unblockable. Um, it's a one, one for one, can't block, toxic one. We can pay one Phyrexian white, tap it, choose a color. Uh, another target creature we control is going to gain toxic one hexproof and cannot be blocked by the chosen color as well which is really quite cool we have all of the land you could possibly want in the deck to make sure it's running um smoothly and consistently uh a lot of white and green a lot of white and red and some uh a, a little bit of green and red as well within the build um not having really any issues there so um this deck is built around uh, a recent list that went 10 and 0. Whenever I'm modeling a deck after something else, I say I, I want to really make sure uh, to give a shout out to the original artist. Um, I, I forget the name. A Japanese individual uh, went 10 and 0 in a recent tournament, and this is a modified version for the best of one arena client. Right, um, kind of tightening it up, 
Japanese players are notorious for running one ofs. There was like four or five one ofs in the deck. We've concentrated that value. We've added the hair sh uh, shield, which was not in the original build, which I think is so good for the deck. So if I could make a recommendation, you know, it would be D to test with that uh, as well for that individual. I don't know if maybe they see this, who knows? Uh, but with that being said, I love this deck. It is a ton of fun to play. The meta is very aggressive and it is doing its best to hold its own. So cheers. I hope you guys enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, become a YouTube member, kick back, relax, and let's play some magic. Opponent goes first. Let's keep seven. <sighs> okay. We're going to probably just get dunked on immediately, but... Interesting. At least it's original. Let's just go for it. It's going to be really good against us. Let's try and get a land. Hit for two. They might just save that, right? I don't know. No, nope, they're just like, I'm going to take that right now. They are aggressive. I have a forest. I don't have a forest? Since when? <laughs> My bad, homie. That does open up the casting of our Beak the Beast, though. Wedding countered? Draw on life gain, very nice. As long as it's not a farewell. That's worrisome. Let's see what we get. I would counter this if I were them. Let's see what we get again. Just looking for land. There she is. Let's hit for three, draw a card. No Wandering Emperor, wow. That's suspect. Double draw, in fact. Flipping to two twos. Ooh, that unmitigated is very good. Ah, my life. So I'm going to sacrifice one to kill the other. Getting a scry, now instead of a 3-3, three, three, it's a 1-1. One, one. Virtue can stay. Druid out, might out, push it up. Land in capped, hold up our loyalty, hold up our quest the beast. Create a 1-1, one, one, flip it, push everybody up.
Oh my gosh. You just can't win with these people. <laughs> Sick, bro. Well, let's make the 2-2, two -two, get some damage in, get summoning sickness off. Seek the beast. Seek the beast again. Nice. Our land is trash, though. We're going to lose this land. Because we want to really play our Noir. Oh, no, this is our red. Oh, but that's untapped. Okay. for four off the hair you know they wipe the field so the hair is not really getting you know that uh, machiko effect but so far so good four cards left in hand you know suffering double field wipes is you know just stop it I really want to play all my creatures because we know that there's more. Okay. Virtue. With a hair, right? Or go in light with a druid. Uh, I mean, I'm changing my mind last second here. We should have played the druid first. I was going to go the hair push up. Last minute decision change. Resulting in the loss of the counter. But that's how I, I'm so... In, I'm all over the place. And, you know, I just... Uh, it's a lot of intuition that I go with. And if things change and then my decision making, then they change. You know, I'm not dug in. I'm not going to stay... With a bad decision, you know, I, I'm, I'm fluid in my choices and I can adjust. You feel, homies? We don't want to make a bad play. I mean, three cards left. we got to be careful. I'm just going to save the hair, I think, actually. Yeah, I'm still going to save the hair. I have too many cards left, and I don't want to lose everything. Because we almost already are. Right? <sighs> or we get lucky and have lethal. But I don't want to overextend in case it's not... Right? I mean, if they don't have it, we should have lethal. Oh, exactly. Exactly. My biggest fear. Right there. We should have been even more conservative. Let's bring the land out. Untap it as well. 
three cards in hand. <laughs> really? They must have something. Interesting. One, two lands up. I got to take the hair here, right? Starting for 9, 12, 13 damage. If they have single target removal, I'm going to regret this so much. So close to having been lethal. Again, I don't want to overextend. Almost should have put the counter on the land in case they deal with the rabbit, but I was worried they were going to deal with the land there. So I pushed it to the rabbit. One, two, three, four cards available. Might be good. I'm going to put on myself this time. We get it. Oof. I was worried when we seen that Kaya hit play. Really got quite, quite nervous. Great game. <laughs> All right. Our opponent's going to go first here. Let's keep seven. You know, let's keep it funky. Let's keep it fresh. 102 the Q crew. <laughs> No, no, I, I listed the bar under the pride section. You know, things that you're proud of. <laughs> it says prizes, Charlie. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Scampadelphia. Oh, my gosh. You're killing my might. Oh, my gosh. I probably regret this just like I do every single time. Let's see how this all unfolds though. Five, four cards in hand. Gix, no removal for us. <laughs> Let's see if we can impulse Adelphia a land. Please? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. No attacks, we're chump blocking because I don't want to get them any draw. Especially if they play a shield word. I said no! The railroad boy! I will just dunk on it. At instant speed, thank you. No token, we need a land to continue. <gasps> oh, that's so good. We're going to lose this if we don't play it. So at least we're going to lose whatever we get from it, but at least we don't lose it. Oh, those are two good cards. Hit for two. Softer can block. That might have been a mistake. Another crown. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Just don't let them draw. Just don't let them draw. Is this trample? No. Okay. 
Oh, big tough guy. Big tough guy. Make the token. Hit for two. Hold up virtue, but also seek the beast. And I'd pref well, actually, one, two, three, four, five. Actually, my virtue, and then play uh, the loyalty, right? What's the spell called? Ardenvale Fealty? Okay. I don't think I've said that once. <laughs> Arden Ardenvale? Yeah, Arnvale Fealty. Bro, that's a lot of mana. What you got over there, Willis? Blitzadelphia? Oh. Okay, so they didn't get the draw here from that. Pretty cool. What if we lived in a world where they didn't have any other creatures? I mean, that makes our virtue a lot worse here, but I just like that was good value to get. This is still good too, because it's going to make the token. And we untap, as well as the plus one counters distributed. Then next turn, we can rip with the beast. If we survive, we might not. I mean, they have uh, you know, plenty of cards after that last turn. Arcfiend's fine. That's actually preferred. <laughs> right? Let's see first what we get. Wedding out. Land out, evil out. Oh. Wrong side. Slow down, HGG. Toughness four or greater. They're bringing it back, homie. They are bringing it back. Taking a draw here as well. Wow, they are tapped. I'm going to swing with all we do on tap and draw, as well as the plus one counters distributed. All right. We can easily chump block. Thrill Seeker. Oh, no. That pushes it to nine. Thrill Seeker, monstrous roll token. Arc Fiend would be very good. They could grab Trample on this, right? Luckily, they don't have it. Lots of times I predict stuff like that. That would be good deck, though. The Monstrous Roll Trample on the Arc Fiend. Very good. Oh, well, they're pushing up. They hit for 14 uh, face if they wanted to take it. <laughs> They lose life here. Good draw. I mean, they might actually get it. I don't know. No, we have lethal. Good game. Good game. If they had that monstrous roll token, they would have. They would have had lethal, right? So. If you're playing that Rakdos stack like that, I mean, maybe that's a cool addition. Maybe that's even there. I don't know. All right, going first. And, uh, well, I actually really like the hand. There's turn one instant speed. There's turn two instant speed. There's turn three value play. Um, yeah. Mm. It's kind of a bummer. There's a good chance we can't remove it. Just 
Ray, they play Phoenix. They don't. Oh, bad though. I'm going to hit for two, hold up torch for A, Kumano, but B, a squee. We pray it's not a Godric. Okay. Looks like we'll be sacrificing our token with the bargain. Oh, they might just hit me with that because they're revealing a dragon. <laughs> okay, homie. I feel you, dog. I think I swing on this too. Are we going to regret this double block? Do the block first in case we're forced to sacrifice. What you got, homie? Okay. I think we still kill the Swift Spear, right? We get the Scry if we do it this way. Not the worst. Not the best, though, right? They get a fourth land. They can flip the invasion. Oof. Okay, okay. Revealing that dragon has just been... powerful, to say the least. Oh, man, I don't know. We need to destroy evil off the top. No, not getting it. <laughs> I think that's game. That's their third invasion in a row. Uh, okay. Very cool, bro. Oh, that's so brutal. That is so brutal.
I mean, we'll try a little little bit of something here, but uh, I think it's not gonna work. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. These all trigger three times. Uh, well, four times with that other dragon, right? And they all have trample. And they all have trample. Alrighty then. Let's see what we can get into here. We're going to have some fun today. While simultaneously winning every single match. Just the usual. Hmm. Just go in with our Nalar, and then probably just push the hair out through the adventure and then play the creature. Nalar will have Vigilance. The Thopter gets the plus one. Ooh, Weaver. Not the Naturalist, which is the Turn two, you would expect. No attack, that means. Would they give up a double block? Yeah, I think they would. We do have uh, enchantment removal. I think it needs to be on the ossification. And then maybe we can force, you know, like the tempt them into a double with instant speed removal up and then take one and, you know, gain value from a, what would have now resulted in a bad block. And the four can swing, I guess. It might also just play defensively. No blocks to 16. It's going to take the life gain. It's also the reduction. And uh, I'm going to play slow, just use our spell here. And let's see if they double block Nalar, just like we talked about. We can't bait it. That's fine. We get good damage down to 13. There's no life gain. That's fine. I might just dunk on the Weaver. I should have done it um, before they had the chance to play anything here. Yeah, because if they copy this, I do not like that. That's why we should have done it. Oh, no. I think we're just getting good value here, maybe. Okay, okay, okay. Three cards left in hand. Two untapped mana. A big hit down to 10 for them. Um, you know, we do have them at 13, right? So it's just comparable. Weaver's great. Down to nine. Ooh. Down to eight. Or seven. God damn, my math is bad. <laughs> Let's see what we get.
make just make the tokens right do we want to dunk on the visitor here probably just because the trample is like pretty oppressive and we're solo on life Swing for six. Keep one back to block. The hair's pretty important. And then next turn we would hit with A, a land, but B, also the Druid. Uh, which would result in another Nalar uh, Thopter token. So the, the Druid, you know, kind of becomes the Thopter in all intents and purpose. A Might, three mana, three cards. Oh, don't you dare. Dang. I think that's game. Yeah, good game. How do you plan for something like that, though? There's nothing we can do. No blocks we can make. It was a really close game. Machiko off the top. All right, going first. Not an aggressive start, but it is like pretty good, right? So. We'll ride it out. Just an alarm on two. Resolve for a land on three. And then maybe get a one drop with it too. Like a forest and a hair. Let's pretend we're mono red just to scare our opponent. Like, oh no, I'm mono red on the play. Hmm, it could just be immediate removal. <laughs> Uh, uh. Why do you hate me? They're like, don't worry, I have a second removal spell as well. Dang it, homies! We're going to lose the hair. Just look for a land. Hit for 2 to 16. Nalar out. Druid cast from exile with the adventure. Of course you do. Make a token at least. Land from exile. Hair gets cast. No haste here anymore. Kind of sad, but whatever. Let's hit for a couple extra damage to 12. Grabbing a land, gaining three life, back to 15. Hmm. I might just slam the virtue. I don't know. I think so, right? For three, push up on tap. Oh, I was going to maybe play the druid first. 
Well, this might actually be best. Let's push up the Thopter. Down to two on tap. That's a good field state. All right, that's not too bad. Okay, I'm going to mulligan. We need better land. Here it is, keep six. Toss a druid. Toss an impulse. I might like the druid more. We'll see. Hello, good game, good luck. Copper line gorge off the top, opening up the questing druid if we want. Pass turn, resolve is back in hand. All right, seek the beast, see what we get. No counter spell. Into a resolve. To our land for this turn as well as next turn. We lose towards the tower, it did not have a target. Genji in house. And out of house. Land in, druid in. Pass turn. Look at all this land. Seek the beast open for us again. Brutal! We can only push it to a 2-2, unfortunately. So it would still get it. Seek that beast, Tommy. Nice counterspell here. It's pretty good. Oh my god. This land. <laughs> oh my lord. I'm going to play it now while they're tapped. Cheese and crepes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands. Oh my god. This game is relentless today. Like, what did I do to deserve this? Great. <laughs> keep digging, homie. You keep digging, homie. Yes. I guess we could have played our other land. Hit for 2 to 21. Oh, land, land on the wall. All right, there's so many lands. I, I couldn't, you know, they all were blending together. I didn't know. <laughs> He's overwhelmed. As I so often am, right? Yes, we know Pinalar never survives. Or it is always removed. You gonna wipe the whole field, dude? Not killing Nalar. We have two mana for a simple counter spell. More advanced one will still hit us. 
Yes. There you go, homie. Let's swing for four. One, two, three, four, five, six land. They're one away from their um, virtue. Not great. There's no way we draw another land. It's it's literally impossible. So that is pretty big. Enters battlefield, two counters, and this mana spent. Let's play another token here. What is happening? Make another token. Play a land. We're gonna cycle this a little later. Actually, I'm going to go like this. Yes, I'm sure. I'll attack, keep you back, hit for four. Oh, Pino Lars doesn't have flying. Oh my god. I'm an absolute goofball today. She really should have flying. Why doesn't she? We deserve to lose now. Did you know Pinalar doesn't have flying? Maybe if I just draw another land about it, right? I, it's, it's The best part about that is the fact that we kept back the 3-3, three, three, right? Oh, yes! I'm a legend. I am a legend. I was going to play it. Wow! We'll still get it. A little bit of a misplay for myself, but yeah, whatever. Nah, whatever. We'll just hit for lethal next turn, right? Easy game. My bad. Little mistake. So good. Can we do it big? No. I wanted to get in there for a massive hit with the hair. You know, one extra damage. Well, it's actually four, five extra damage. Cool hand, Shuffler. Let's mulligan this away. Super slow land. Mono red on the play. Great. Oh my god. I mean, it is a blocker. They remove it, they remove it. Had a sore shoulder recently. So if you see me doing little circles, that's what that's about. I'm just trying to keep it mobile. I mean, they're low. Let's block the Feldon. Monstrous Rage? No. Yep. I'm surprised they didn't have it. I honestly kind of thought they did. All right, please be a land. I'm 
We're going to get a token. That's good. Playing defensively is not good. Oh, good game. Ugh. I thought they flipped that, actually. That's premature. Oops. I mean, I'm just going to say oops. I thought they flipped that. I thought this was a lightning strike, not a play with fire. Oh, they do flip it. So it doesn't even matter. Okay, destroy evil off the top. Or it really is a good game. Right? It's a juicy double block for us. Unless they have a spell. Make a token. Finding the land. Oh, it's a slow land, though. I'll just play it now. That trample is brutal. Shivian Devastator. Lightning Strike off the top. How about a Thundering Raiju? Flipping the other invasion. Wow. I'm going to put a Thopter in front just so it doesn't flip. Crazy. We'll double block the Raiju as well. Oh, no, I... Well... I still will. Sucks, but that's what it is. Now destroy evil off the top. As the gods foretold. Good swing for one. Twelve life. Seek the beast. Druid. Land announcement. No attacks. Right? I'm a little nervous what they could have. Like, if they flip this on our end step, that's going to be really bad. If we didn't have that evil here. Oh, okay. So multiple defenders, good. Push it up. Let's see if we can get the block. No. So... Token, untap, counters across. I feel bad with the early good game. I honestly thought they were going to flip that invasion and it would have been game. I've just been, you know, so used to getting destroyed. <laughs> My red decks, right? <laughs> That's why we sent the oops after. I was like, oh no. 
We were wrong. I think that counter goes on the Feldon here. But I don't know. We've got really good blockers though, right? Just a simple block. Oh, it's a monstrous rage. Dang it. Nice. Good play, homie. I should have double blocked. I didn't want to give them too much of a draw, though. They still get the draw here, too. Let's see what Felden gets. Well, that's only four land. They would need a land off the top. Kill the Thunder Maw, push up the Druid. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Not where we need to go. So I think we just impulse up. Okay. That's going to force a block. Are there any more creatures we could play before this? No. Unless we push in, but I'm not going to. Push up the Thopter. And play the hair. Vigilance can swing in as well. I think this is fine. Wait, well, they have to block the 8-8. Eight, eight. Which I'm keeping a couple blockers back because I've been burned before. Uh, oh, I guess we uh, untap. Okay. I think we got lucky there. Sorry about the premature good game. I honestly thought you had us wrecked. I can't believe there was a comeback. My bad, homie. All right. Uh, our opponent's going to go first. Let's keep the cards as is. Playing slow. Getting our virtue out right away. I'm just kind of dodging any counter spell that might be here. If they tap, we play it. Just because we know that they do have counter magic. Land out, hit for two. Play the might, hold up, seek the beast. We could also just play another Virtue. I might do that. All right, here's removal. They're tapped, though, keep in mind. So let's replace what they've just removed. All right, just because they're tapping, no counter magic. It's a good time to play. Graveyard Trespasser gets nothing from us. They can take their own card, but irrelevant. Hit for 2 to 15. And they're tapped. Risk it for a land. Gives us two, and then we have nothing. Or just play wedding. We need the land. Wedding's good too, though.
Let's go wedding, wedding, I guess. Evil is, you know, reserved for shielded. Down to 13, I would double block. They get the draw. Phase out as well. Let's take our turn. No attacks, double token. Really slow on land here, kind of sucks, but... Non-token is the might, brutal, but fine. You know, it's not really the end of the world. Removal on our 2-2. Two, two. Oh, I won't triple block. Not when we're about to flip. No. I don't think I'll block at all. They draw, that's fine, to five, kind of sucks. No land still, homie. Wow. Okay. I just want all the tokens. We flip here as well. Going with the creature, you know, they're kind of overwhelming us. We're down seven life, so we'll just get that out there. Double block, that's fine. I'll triple block, actually, just in case they remove one. Screw it, I'll quad block. Just in case they remove two. I don't think they'd remove three. Cut down, cut down, cut down. <laughs> That's why we put in, you know, the extra blocks, right? They still get good value, though. Nice. Down to four life. That's brutal. Kind of a bummer. This is our card advantage. But we're so low on life. Down to two. I have to hold it up in case it's shielded. Kind of a bummer. Again, with multi-blocks. Ouch. It's a big block, baby. Hey. Down to one. They're going to draw... shoulder that we dunk on. Yeah, that's why we saved our mana here.
Oh, I guess we're just dead, though. Right. Unless we draw a removal here. Oh! <gasps> We have protection from another shield red. We've got a big attack. You gotta have faith. Oh, good game. No. I was like, you know, we can attack with everything because they don't have any haste. They don't have any haste. Whoops, I meant to be playing a different deck, but now we're here, so I better record it, because guaranteed it's the only match we win all day. No, I'm just kidding, we won a couple earlier, we won a few, we won a few. Um, Let's get a nice win in here, though. Hey, Maya, please not on the laptops. Good girl. It's her favorite thing. Oh, they always do. Dude, they always do. I know it does nothing, but it gets it into exile for us to cast next turn, right? Spending that mana, homie. More removal? No. Destroy evil off the top? We wouldn't get it. Paradelphia. Land out. I like this quite a bit, especially if we get our fifth land. I'm going to parse my turn over. Let's see what they do here. Request denied. Hey, you stop it. Uh, draw, then discard. Maya's digging at me. Okay. Attack for the connive. They uh, are going to push up so they can get through our Thopter. Otherwise, it's a clean block. Oh, that's disgusting. Down to 18. Arnvale Fealty. Let's see what we get from Exile. Land is beautiful. Tokens out. I might just play this as a creature because we have the mites to go on top. Token out. Might out. Big swingles. This is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Potential damage. Clean block on the 1. That's fine. Down to 7. Nice execution within the deck here. Hopefully there's no field wipe. That would hit them negatively as well, though, right? But, you know, with my luck today, most likely. <laughs> so there wasn't a shield that played. A tracks that remains in grave. Alter breath. No field wipe? Wow. Looks like we get it. Free and clear, baby. 
Great game, dude. Cheers. That's why we recorded it. Oh. Oh. Oakley, Oakley. So, you know, I do think that the current meta is really oppressive for this deck. However, the fun factor here is so high. You know, it's not something that we've seen a lot of. Um, you know, we've been playing with Pinalar here and there, but it really works nice. Uh, the Pollen Shield Hair within this build is fantastic. Um, with the static ability as well as that adventure, it just fits perfectly, right? Uh, the Questing Druid is really good as well, so I definitely think that the green mana is justified. And then, you know, it's just a matter of, you know, it's a mono red meta, right? So everyone who's not playing mono red has so much removal in their deck to, to stop the mono red, right? Um, and then, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of hard if you're not being uh, now the third party, which is the control deck, potentially part of the problem as well with all the removal. Um, but there's more control popping up because there are less creatures because of the influx of removal in some of these mid-range decks, right? So um, that makes it hard for an off-brand aggro deck that may not be as super consistent as the mono red is right now. It's not to say that we can't beat it. And with that being said, I do think that we would have a an easy time if we had any life gain. You know, whether it be an angel fire recognition, um, you know, uh, an intrepid adversary, I'm thinking of potentially. Um, you know, a little bit of life gain in the deck I think could go a long ways, right? So let me know what you think in the comments below. Of course, as always, thank you for watching. I hope you have a magical uh, rest of your day. Help yourself to another video, of course, maybe, and uh, check out the Twitch stream. We're live every day there. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll just, uh, we'll catch you on the flip side, homies. Take care.